James Perryman, and this is my audience for my demonstration speech. You ever feel stressed out? Well, sure, we all do. Um, but do you ever feel stressed out to the point where you just really want to step outside of yourself, even for just a minute to get out from under that? Well, there's actually an experience that I have had 10 times where I actually got just this. An experience, jumping out of an airplane. Believe it or not, jumping out of a perfectly good aircraft can actually reduce stress. And that, at least that's what I've experienced. And that's what I'm gonna talk about a little bit today. I'm gonna talk about skydiving. I'm gonna talk about some of the equipment, and I'm actually gonna guide you through just one jump. And perhaps at the end of this, you'll get at least a sense of why someone would actually want to do this. So then perhaps you'll come to the same conclusion I have. And that is that skydiving is an invigorating and powerful experience unlike anything else. So let's start with that equipment that I talked about. First thing you're gonna need is a parachute. And believe it or not, parachutes have been around for a very long time. According to the online version of the Encyclopedia Britannica, they've been around for a few hundred years. Nowadays, they're going to look something like this, give or take. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to need is some kind of a jumpsuit. If anything, just to keep you warm, not that kind of jumpsuit. We're going to need something that will just keep you warm and kind of make the ride down a little more comfortable. Also going to need some goggles, and we're going to need a helmet, and of course, we're going to need an airplane. A few other things, but today, this will do for today, okay? Now we're ready to take off and head for the skies. Today, you're gonna jump at 5,000 feet, and what you're gonna do is what's called a hop and pop. Lots of jumps, but this is today's, okay? Chances are, the airplane we're gonna take will look something like this, maybe a little smaller than what you took to, to Disneyland. So, but get over it. <laughs> now, what's gonna happen now is we're gonna actually get gonna head up to 5,000 feet. It'll take about five, 10 minutes max, and there's gonna be three of you in the plane today. There's gonna be you, there's gonna be a jump master, and there's gonna be, of course, the pilot. And as you get up, Eventually what's going to happen is the jump master will note that you're at 5,000 feet and she is going to do something very powerful, open the door. Things are going to start to get real about now. What she's going to do now is she's actually going to throw a flag out, look down and make sure there's not too much wind, and she's also going, to, also going to make sure there's not too many clouds or any clouds at all. Now Tom Buchanan also says this in his book, it's not a good idea to jump through clouds or to jump into the wind. Luckily today, no clouds, no wind, so we're going to jump. Next thing that's going to happen is that jump instructor is going to ask you to come toward the door. And she's going to actually say the words, sit the door. Sit the door. And I know it's strange, but that's what they do. And if you notice in this airplane, you can kind of see here that there is the landing gear kind of sticks out. What you're going to do is you're going to sit there, hanging your legs out of the door, and probably put your feet maybe on that landing gear. By the way, your heart's probably going to be racing by now, because now you can see out into that drop zone that's 5,000 feet below. Next thing she's going to do, she's going to say, reach out and hang. No joke. What you're going to do, you can kind of see this strut here, and the strut, if the plane were going this way, the strut runs from the body out to the wing. You're going to step off that landing gear, grab that strut, and now dangle your feet behind you. So at this point, if your heart is not absolutely pounding, I have no idea how to get it pounded. This is an extremely intense experience. So you're going along, the plane is going, your feet are dangling, you're looking 5,000 feet below, and you're gonna look over your shoulder. And now the instructor is gonna tell you something that will change your life. Let go. And you're gonna let go on way, way more levels than you can even anticipate. You're gonna, uh, for that, just that split second, you're gonna be completely and totally present, fully there. It won't matter if your dog died, if your husband, your wife left you, for right then, you're just gonna be completely there. Now, at this point, there is something that has to happen, okay? And Brian Germain says this fantastically. He says, the object of our attention must remain at the task at hand, not our fear. And so there is a process that you have to go through in order to jump. Here it is. Arch, look, reach, pull, check, check. I'll say it again. At this point, when you let go, You've got to arch your back. You've got to actually point your belly toward the ground because you can't pull your parachute on your back. Okay? So arch. Look. Look where you're going to get your D-ring, where you're going to pull it. Okay? You have to be able to see that. Don't, don't turn too much because you're rolling your back. So arch. Look. Reach. 
in this format, so you don't roll on your back. Pull, up goes the chute, you check for a nice, wonderful blossom above, you check your brakes. Arch slip, reach pull, check, check, okay? Now, at this point, your chute's open. Jump's not over, though. You got that nice, wonderful ride down. It's only gonna take about five minutes. Your heart is still pounding, trust me, and you're gonna bleed off some altitude, toggling, turning, toggling, turning, and then you're gonna get in, and there'll be a motivated instructor at the bottom, also ready to tell you, flare, 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 pull the brakes, Hopefully you have a nice soft landing, put that foot down, and your life has changed forever. Now, this is a great statement. Skydiving is tough to wrap your brain around. It's not like a roller coaster ride. When the door opens, you have this excitement. It's an empowering feeling. You break off, open your parachute, you get to fly around. It's nothing like you'll ever experience. Cindy Stroop uh, had lupus and actually had done tons and tons of jumps. And that was her statement. I can't say better than that. Now, maybe you're the type that's gonna go out someday and jump, maybe you're not. If you're on the edge though, I really encourage you to try it. Take the plunge. Go out there and jump. Thanks. <laughs>